This is Dee from Crystal Crafts with Dee. I have an unboxing to do for you today. This one is from One Day Saving. So they contacted me and asked me if I'd like to do some more reviews of their products. And I said, of course, uh, because I've been working with these guys for a while and they're um, a really good company to deal with. And they've got a lot of stuff on their um, website and they've got really good prices and a, a great variety to choose from. So I've chosen a few different bits and pieces. Um, and I've already just sort of opened up the bag a little bit just so I'm not struggling on camera. Uh, I will apologize in advance that I sound a bit groggy. I have been very unwell, but um, I'm bouncing back, so uh, bear with me because the brain ain't going to work too good um, still. So anyway, let's get started. I'll open this one up. So I have quite a few different oops, bits and pieces. Uh, I've got diamond paintings, cross stitches, and all sorts of neato stuff. So what I will do is I will start off with um, diamond paintings. Yay, diamond paintings. Let me move them over there. All right. I'm organized. Uh, okay. Um, so the first one is a gorgeous diamond painting. This one is a 30 by 40 uh, full round drill. And that one just had a clear sleeve, so it feels um, relatively thick. So it's a 30 by 40 full round drill, and it is of a gorgeous dragon sitting on books. And I just saw this and I thought, oh, that is just so cute. Oh, I love that. I love dragons anyway, but oh, that is so cute. So that one here has 20 colors. I'm just going to, <laughs> look how crunched it got. That's funny. Uh, I'm just going to pull the plastic back so it can relax a little bit. And then it'll go under books for a little while, week or two, and that'll straighten out really well. Now I'm not concerned about that at all. This will just help it flatten a bit easier. Oops. I'm going to do it like that. There we go. Okay, so it's a little bit crunched. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? I actually really love the colors. Um, normally when you get dragon diamond paintings or dragon pictures, they're all so dark and sinister, um, which I like, but... I actually like this because it's very um, pastel-y and I just love it. Very calming. <laughs> anyway, very, very cute. Uh, so this guy has 20 colors. Uh, there's DMC colors as well. And I'm looking at the print that's actually looking really, really good. So I will zoom you in and you can have a closer look. In we go. So that's a very light drill field. So I won't be needing a light pad at all for that. And it looks pretty clear. It's pretty, um, it looks a little bit fuzzy, like in these areas, but I can actually read them okay. So it doesn't look too bad. The letter R um, looks a little bit sort of blurry but it's the only one like that so I don't think there's going to be an issue there. There we go. Isn't that just the cutest? And I'll take you over this symbol key over here. There's two symbol keys, one on each side. Oh, he's just so cute. So there's your symbol key there. Um, you can see so there's a lot of sort of very soft colors in there. Soft grays and purples. It doesn't look too hard to read and they're all letters as well. So no problem at all. That looks pretty good. All right, I'll zoom you back out again. Oops. And I'll just check the, yes, that's pretty sticky. Alrighty, we'll have a look at what else came in the kit. So we have so there's just a normal uh, tool kit. 
and your drill. So I am loving, I am loving how a lot of these um, dime painting kits are actually coming with your Ziploc bags. I really like how they're sorted like that. It's so much nicer and so much easier. And if you like to um, work straight out of the bag, like a lot of people like working like that, it's already done for you. I love it. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> Told you I'm a bit slow today. <laughs> So I'll have to count these off camera, just make sure they're all there. Um, but yeah, they're just really nicely sealed. I like the size of the Ziploc bags as well, it's a decent sized bag. Um, so you can see there on your label the DMC color and you've got your numeric order, so it's color 19. So that's looking pretty good. One, two. Three, four, whoop, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a lot of grays in there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. How many colors did I say? 20 colors. All right, so they're all there. But, um, you know, just having sort of a closer look as well, those drills look really, really good. And they're pretty shiny already. Oh, they look really good. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, let me get all those guys out of the road. Uh, uh, there. So there you go. So there is diamond painting number one. Beautiful, beautiful dragon. So I will just chuck all them in there because I know they're going to get all mixed up. I'm going to lose a bag. Put them all in there. All right. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> okay, so that's my dragon. That is just gorgeous and also with all those different grays you're going to get such beautiful shading and blending in there that's going to look absolutely fabulous okay on to the next one uh, so the next one here now when I saw this I thought wow that is awesome uh, and of course I put it straight in my cart because I just loved it this is a 30 by 50 centimeter. It is a full round drill diamond painting. Oops. There we go. And I just loved it. I just saw it and thought, oh wow we. So this one is of a beautiful black cat. And I love the size of it too, actually. I love that. How gorgeous is that? Beautiful. So you've got your diamond painting and just a standard tool kit. And the drills as well. So we'll have a look at this one. Wow, that looks amazing. And I like how it's sort of long and thin. I really like that. It's got 23 colors. The canvas is um, quite thick. So again, I'm just pulling this plastic bag that's going to help the canvas relax. We'll stick it under books. But the glue is so glossy. It's got beautiful coverage of adhesive. Wow. Wowie. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Oh, it's better than I expected. That's fabulous. I love the, the moon. Like, I just love how it's done like that. And then you got the kitty cat in the middle. Oh, it just looks gorgeous. And in the background, is that like a cemetery? <laughs> I think it is. Cool. 
Oh, that's awesome. All right, I'll zoom you in. You can have a closer look. In we go. So that drill field's looking pretty good. We've got a lot of dark colors there. Um, and they've got your light writing. Um, a little bit. Okay. Not too sure about the O and the D. They're quite similar. 796, 797. So they are quite similar. That will be interesting to see how I go with that. Um, other than that, I think it might be okay. I won't know till I get in there. Yeah, it is a cemetery. Oh, <laughs> that is awesome. It's like so ominous. And look at the moon. How cool is that? So it's a very dark diamond painting, isn't it? It's going to come up beautiful. And you've got 23 colors. It's going to be awesome. So you've got two symbol keys. There's one on the top here. There's your thumbnail. And uh, your symbol key there. So you've got your DMC colors in your numeric order. All letters. How good does that look? So that's printed really, really well. And the glue, like the adhesive, is so shiny. That looks amazing. Fabulous. All right, we'll zoom you back out again. Let's do a sticky test while I'm at it. Yeah, wow. I'll show you that glue. That adhesive, look how, wow. That's beautiful. All right, put the plastic back on there and we'll have a look at those drills. Uh, drills are in strip form on this one. Got some beautiful dark blues, grays. Gorgeous. Oh. I'm going to show you this guy first. So his drills look really, look really good. Oops, there we go. Really beautiful blues. I've got some gorgeous gray, blue, the gray. Gray, 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 blue, blue, blue. Look at those colors. It's just the shading is going to be amazing. It's gorgeous blue, that one. Beautiful. More grays, blue grays. Nice, beautiful, dark, navy blue. Looks like a black. And that's better. Blue. That's a pretty, that's really pretty, that. A green and blue. Black. White. Oops. And ending on a blue. So what beautiful colors. Oh boy, I cannot wait to do that one. That is just going to be stunning. And the size, the size is perfect. How gorgeous is that? Wow, I can't wait to get started on that one. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that's diamond painting number two. And number three, so this one is a DIY craft diamond painting. And this was something I saw and I thought, oh, that's, that looks kind of cool. I want to have a go at that. And if I can get into it, here we go. So this is one of their new products. Um, they've got quite a lot of different designs. Um, and this is a special drill coaster. And I thought, oh, I want to know what it's made of and, you know, what it looks like and if it's any good 
So, um, yeah, they've got quite a few different designs and um, they're all special drill and it's on this sort of like MDF. Oh, is it MDF? Yeah, sort of wooden um, round piece. That feels quite interesting. So in here in the kit, you've got your coaster, you've got your drills and just a standard tool kit, your single placer, etc. Um, yeah, so that's actually a decent size, isn't it? I don't know. I'll give it a measure later and I'll put it on the screen uh, as to what size it is. But that's actually a really, really good size. And I like the thickness too. It's not thin. It's not cheaply made at all. That feels really good. So I'll just do a plastic back. And that just exposes your symbols. And that's really, really sticky. And that's sticky all over. So the glue... So the glue goes all the way across. Um, so you'll probably want to seal that when you're done putting the diamonds on it. So that's actually a fair amount of um, drills that you need to put on there. So that's really cool. And they weren't expensive either. Although they're a really good price too. So ooh, that looks pretty cool. So how this works is you've got the... Uh, symbols on here and they correspond to the symbols on the bag of drills so um, you've got your drills there so you've got uh, like letter A goes to letter A which is right there and number 8 goes to number 8 which goes all the way around there very easy to follow very well printed as well Cool. Oh, look at those drills. And being special drill till it's gonna look so cool. Oh, everything's a struggle. I can't open it. Okay, so how many colours do we have? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 colours. That's pretty good for a, um, a small design. Alrighty, so we've got some beautiful rhinestone yellow drills. I can see a couple of scratch backs on that one. That's not unusual. Um, you've got some clear. You've got beautiful red, a gorgeous sort of soft, kind of like an ice lemon color. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh wow, I love this orange. That is gorgeous. And look at those drills. Like, Look at the sparkle on them too. Uh, some teeny tiny teardrops. You've got them in red and you've got them in clear. Got some frosted teardrops there. Some more teeny tiny teardrops. They are not exactly my favorite um, drills. They're really hard for me to place. <laughs> they require a bit of coordination, which I, I do lack. Uh, but anyway, they do come up really, really nice. And you've got some of these really, wow, really tiny marquees. Wow. Hey, they look really cool. So look at those colors, really gorgeous oranges, yellows, reds, really beautiful colors. And they look awesome, really good quality, nice and clear, especially those ones, look how clear they are, wow. So they're going to look magnificent on oh my gorgeous coaster. So I have one question, so I cannot wait, I'm going to get this done and then I'm going to seal it and then I'm going to put a cup on it. And I want to see if it's going to be level enough because you've got all these sort of smaller drills, but then you've got these big teardrops and they're quite, they sit up quite high. Well, not quite high, but they sit up higher than the others. So I'd be very interested to see where are they on the sides. So if you had like a smaller cup. I don't think it would matter, but I just wonder if it's going to make my cup tip or not. 
Probably not because they're evenly spaced around the sides. Anyway, we'll see what happens when I do it together and see what happens when I try it out. But I love the design of that. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And the colors that they've used in this too is just going to be amazing. So I'm really impressed with that. I figured I'd try one and see, you know, how it goes. And um, I might get a few more. But so far, so good. I'm quite impressed. So that is a gorgeous coaster and uh, I'm happy that it's thick like that really good quality so there's the coaster and along the diamond painting theme I saw this diamond painting pen and I thought oh wow I've got to try it uh, they have this in a couple of different designs I think um, but you can get it with the square placer or a round placer and I thought ooh I didn't know you could get diamond painting pens that were like that. So, oh golly, I'm really struggling today. <laughs> and they've taped it. Uh, so I thought, hey, I want to try this. So I've got a square placer diamond painting pen. And I do have a square that I'm working on at the moment. So I'm really wanting to try this out and see if it's... What it's cracked up to be so that's a diamond painting pen there so it's quite chunky nice and glossy and it's got these sort of rhinestones in there that's really nice actually it's nice and smooth that looks pretty cool it's quite um, big too it's not too small and you've got your cap And there's your diamond painting pen there. So, um, hang on here. And it's got a square tip. And it's actually quite large. Hang on. Nyeh. That looks cool. All right, that's, that's interesting. So, I can't wait to try this with my square drills. And see if it works better. It should technically work better than the round one. Um, but yeah, I didn't know you could get square placers. So I thought, hey, I'm going to try that. And I love how it has a cap. I love these diamond painting pens that have caps. And that way your wax doesn't dry out as quickly. I love that. And it also, mainly, it stops the fluff from getting in your wax when, you're, um, when it's sitting on your table and that. So that looks really, really cool. And like, it's you can get a good grip on it as well. That, that feels great. And that wasn't very expensive. It was actually a really good price. And they had, a, I think, two different designs. Two or three. Um, yeah, wow. I love that. Oh, I'm looking forward to trying that. So that is a square placer diamond painting pen. That is awesome. Can't wait to try that. Okay, and finally, oops, oh my god, finally I have a cross stitch, uh, and I got this one here, this is a Joy Sunday, it's so cute, I just, I saw it and I thought, oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's gotta happen, I love foxes, I don't know why, I just love them, and um, Joy Sunday has this beautiful little kit, and it is a 14 count, stamped cross stitch and it's 31 centimeters by 31 centimeters so it's a really good size and what i really like about this is that it's full coverage i like full coverage i'm not a fan of partial but i do like them i just prefer when they're full coverage that is so gorgeous and enjoy sunday you've got these beautiful zip seal bags you've got your instructions in the back really good instructions and um, it's just very professionally presented. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just struggling. I got it. Yay! <laughs> oh, embarrassing. Okay, so you have your cover sheet. Oh, that is so cute beautiful and I love the colors too it's very simple colors not too much going on but very effective 
Okay, so you got your cover sheet and you have your uh, chart. So they put a chart in there for reference. Um, it's on glossy paper. Easy to read charting. And how many colors? It's all full stitch. Yep, full stitch. Uh, 36 colors. For 36 colors, that's quite impressive for such a small cross stitch. That's really impressive. 36 colors. Okay. You can see how well printed that is. And you've got your DMC color cross reference as well. So that's quite impressive. I'm quite surprised actually. I didn't know there's going to be that many colors. And you've got your beautiful, wow. Wow. Beautiful colors. And your stamped eight cloth. So 31 by 31, really, really good size. Especially if you like to work in hand, like I do, uh, this size is very manageable. Wow, that's very colorful. Uh, okay, so it's 130 by 130 stitches, and you've got your symbols all along the bottom and across the side there. And that is, wow, that's really, really colorful. I'll zoom you in so you can get a little bit closer look. There we go. So what I'm looking at here now is to see how well those symbols are stamped on the squares. And they're nice and clear. They're really easy to see. Uh, no problem at all with that one. And I like how you've got some really good um, color sections, so you can start on a color and you can just follow it wherever it goes. Um, you're not stopping and starting too much. Doesn't look like there's any confetti at all. No. So you've got clear patterns in there from the leaves in the background and the foxes themselves. But wow, isn't that just gorgeous? Beautiful. And also with Joy Sunday, you've got your hemmed edging. Very, very clear. Your Ada cloth is, um, this one's quite stiff actually. A um, little bit stiff there, but never mind. It'll be fine. No issues at all there. That looks fabulous. All right, I'll zoom you back out again. What a great size too. That is just great. And you can just say like, you can just sort of pick up that one color, that bright neon green and just go boom, 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 boom. No confetti. This is a great beginner's project. If you want something that's um, easy to do, but it's got more than like five colors, this has got a really good chunk of color that you can play around with and um, it's a decent sized project, but it's nice and small. That's great. Alrighty, beautiful. Let's have a look at these beautiful colors. Okay, so the... Oh. So your colors come pre-sorted on these cards here. Got your numeric order there. And what have we got? We've got that card there. Has those ones to 36 and we've got two sides there. Okay. So first of all, you've got two needles there. Two? Yeah. Two needles there and you've got your 36 colors on there they're all pre-sorted and oops, what I do is um, on the symbols on there I will sort of label them A B C D E F G I'll do it right across the top there so I don't have to be going backwards and forwards trying to work out what's what um, but yeah we'll get started on this lot here um, how beautiful are those colors? They're nice and long. 
They feel really nice too, actually. Nice and soft. Oh, how gorgeous is that? Beautiful, beautiful colors. And on this side, beautiful colors, beautiful greens. Gorgeous browns. So that shading you're going to get is going to be gorgeous. Nice and long. And on the other side, you've got some beautiful browns and the greens wow look at those three greens together oh wow aren't they just beautiful look how beautiful shaded they are that is gorgeous so there you go beautiful blue uh, blues <laughs> beautiful greens and browns and grays that looks awesome Wow, that is so pretty. Oh gosh, those colors. I just love when you get these cross stitch kits and you pull out your colors like that. And it's just, I don't know, it just looks like magic. They're just so beautiful together. I just love it. It's my favorite part is to get those colors out and just see them all blending together. It's so pretty. Beautiful. That is going to be gorgeous. Oops. Where is it? Oh. And with that size too, that is just going to be gorgeous. And you know, I love how they do the pattern. Those leaves. I love how they do the leaves in the background. That's sort of what attracted to me first, actually, because I thought, oh, that looks really cool. And then you've got your little foxes hiding in there. I just love it. And they've got the most beautiful little faces. Oh, I love that. I'm going to start that right away. <laughs> you know, along with the other 50 projects I've got going. What's another one? That is so gorgeous. Wow, I'm so glad I got that. Okay, so that completes my gorgeous package from One Day Saving. I have a beautiful, beautiful cross stitch. I have... A really interesting little DIY craft that is gonna be so cool and my gorgeous midnight cat gorgeous love it love it love it love it and I think I've seen part of this one as a cross stitch as well I'm not sure oh gosh wouldn't that look awesome as a cross stitch <gasps> oh That'd be kind of cool to graph that and do it as a cross stitch, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm a glutton for punishment. I don't have time, but that would look so awesome. Uh, but I do believe you can get like just the cat as a cross stitch. I saw it somewhere. I don't remember where, but anyway, that would look just awesome. Uh, yeah, so I've got my kitty cat and I've got this beautiful dragon. So, my pen, where's my pen? And my really cool pen. So I will let you know how I go with that one. And see um, if it's all it's cracked up to be. But I am really excited to try that. So I have quite a few different bits and pieces from this particular order. Um, I would like to thank One Day Saving for sending these products out to me for review. Uh, if you haven't checked out One Day Saving yet, they're a budget-friendly um store and they have all sorts of bits and pieces on their cross stitches diamond paintings um all sorts of bits and pieces on there and they're really good to deal with really good pricing so i'd like to thank one day saving very much for sending these products out to me for review uh, i will be showing you in future videos in the not too distant future uh, how i go with these guys works in progress through to review in separate videos so keep your eyes peeled for those and I have the links to all these products in the description box below if you're interested in any of those. And I would thank you, like to thank you very much for sticking with me on this video because my brain's not working too good. Um, 
so I'm kind of all over the place so I apologize for that but thank you so much for sticking with me to the end um, thank you so much for watching my video and I will catch you next time bye Thank <laughs> you.